Hey, hey, what's up, animators? It's me, Vic, and uh, welcome to Stay Tuned Animation. Uh, Warner Brothers told me to meet them over here at the corner of North Pole and freeze my nipples off to teach you guys how to draw the new character Atticus from the new movie Happy V2 in theaters now. And uh, I'm supposed to be drawing from reference, but I don't see any penguins. I hear music though. Makes me wanna dance a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I wanna do a little dancing for me. And I'm just in war. Alright guys, let's learn how to draw Atticus from Happy V2. Alright, as always we're going to do a regular pencil and I have an erasable Crayola colored pencil to do the underlining drawings before we do some hard edges. They are my ninja swords and we will do work. Here we go. Alright guys, so you guys want to start off with a small circle for the head and now it's going to expand to a wide triangle. It's a curved triangle. It's to make him fluffy, he's very bottom heavy, kind of like Jennifer Lopez, but that Jennifer Lopez is a very good bottom heavy. And we're going to set up the arms in a John Travolta type of pose, you know, one of those disco ones. And now putting the eye line right in the middle, and now it is, that's right guys, it's cleanup time. Time to get your regular pencil, and we're going to define those edges. Now when you're starting to draw the head, he's tucked in to the round part of his body, the fluffier part. And then when you're designing his face, yes he has feathers underneath his chin, but you want to create kind of like a Roman type of effect with the um, black part of his face. Penguins are kind of two shaded black and white, and they have a kind of cool Roman helmet, like a gladiator. These birds are the gladiators of their kind. And they're so intense. Can't you see this penguin in 300? You know what I'm saying? This is penguins. I think. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and lay out his beak. His beak is kind of unique where it is two tones. It's got a little bit of orange on the tip and black around the edges. Um, and now we'll go ahead and just place a temporary spot for the lines for the eyes. And um, when you're doing the eyes, the trick is not to make them too big because the, the bigger eyes were given to Eric in the movie, but he has adorable eyes, so you want to give him just the right balance of cute but cool because Atticus is more of the hip-hop, cool type of character. So you still want to make him cute because he's young, so you want to give him about medium eyes, not too big but not too small. Too small, you're going to make the bird look really creepy. Nobody's really going to want to touch the creepy bird. I'm telling you, this is the kind of bird that you just wanna, you just wanna pick up and, and give a hug and a squeeze, and you just wanna love this bird so much. And I'm sorry, I just, I just had a little girl, so if I, I get too cuddly with this bird, it's just because I just had a baby and I'm really in touch with my sensitive side. Anyways, guys, we wanna give him a fluffy leg and keep those edges nice and round, cute cuddly no sharp edges in this drawing even on the beak you really don't want to have too sharp of edges on the beak um, and you want to make sure that when you're designing the feathers he's scruffy but fluffy <laughs> that's gonna be my technical term for this drawing scruffy but fluffy now you want to give him a couple ruffled feathers inside his body um, gives it a little bit of extra design a little bit of extra detail that really makes the characters pop out and not just be bland on the outside um, and it gives them depth as well go ahead and do that all around you know if you haven't seen happy feet 2 i saw it just the other day and it was it was really good it wasn't as much of a national geographic type film as the original was um and so i honestly think this one was a lot more entertaining so if you can you know, even adults, just go check out the movie, Matinee, it, it's well worth the buy. Even check it out in 3D, if you can. Alright guys, so now I am putting some definition into the wing. Um, it does fold over a little bit, so you want to make sure that you uh, put that definition in there. And alongside with the wing, just like the body, you want to make it scruffy but fluffy. Continue that process. And uh, 
Yeah, now let's go ahead and work on the feet. He's got three toes, like most birds, um, and they're big honking nails. I mean, these, these are some deadly claws. I'm pretty sure that penguins, their main form of defense are these claws, the scratching that they can do, because they can't fly. So I believe their feet are um, part of the protection. I know I'm going to have somebody from PETA say, no, it's actually their cuteness that, uh, you know, defends them. Anyways, we're going to pose this last foot in a bent position. Um, keep him looking like he's dancing, busting the move, busting some sweet dance moves, you know what I'm saying? He is seriously my favorite character. Eric was super cute, but Atticus definitely brought a level of coolness to this movie that I really liked. So anyways, go ahead and start shading in his feet. Um, the cool effect you can do, like I've taught before, is shade it in uh, roughly with the pencil and then smudge with your finger and it works out pretty nice. You can do that up top as well. Gives it a very smooth look. Um, and give him a couple of hairs scruffy on the top. He's a kid, you know? Kids got messy hairs. So once you're done doing the final touches, it's time for... Where's that walkie there? And... Where's that walkie there? And... <laughs> Congratulations guys, you drew Atticus from Happy Feet 2. Good, good, good job animators. You made it through another tutorial. The last one of the year. C Congratulations, you drew Atticus from Happy Feet 2. In theaters now. Be sure to stay warm, have a happy holidays, enjoy time, and see the movie. And until next year, anime, stay tuned. Can uh, somebody give me some hot chocolate? I can't move. <laughs>